Hello everyone, Hello everyone. Eric Lima here in the Bethlehem, Massachusetts Residency HP, Crazy Half Portuguese. Over here you are watching yet another video episode from my pilot mini-series in, uh, in which I'm filling in the gap between the, in the holiday season between the recently completed EML 77 TV going into WEML TV Channel 77, the YouTube station identification yours truly for next year. This is the Bridge Up, episode three, 39, ladies and gentlemen, and I hope all of you are having a wonderful, wonderful day. Hope um, all my local friends survived the humongous snowstorm that we just had. Um, <clears throat> and I'm, and it's still snowing a little bit out there. Not much, but you know, a lot of rain was in the forecast too, which I did not know. So, so it helped out somewhat. So, um, <clears throat> so to, to say the least. Um, um, to, um, to say to say the least, we're right getting right down to the nitty gritty as far as the Christmas season is concerned. We know next week is Christmas Eve. That means a week from tomorrow is Christmas, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, I don't know what's going to happen between now and then. And uh, a lot a lot has been going on. Um, I can't get into any detail why. Like I said before, <clears throat> but it is a major concern. But I don't want to disclose anything here because um, there's um, eyes out there that I cannot trust and ears out there that I cannot trust as well. So that's something to um, <clears throat> that's something for me to um, deal with. Alrighty then, um, NXT UK. Uh, you um, the recap. Um, once my new uh, my new season starts. Well, I know I'm not going to open up a new channel, as you know. I'm going to uh, change the name of this channel, which I can do. So uh, I'm really excited about that. <clears throat> so, so once the new once the uh, the new sh new season starts for next year, I am going to um, call all my wrestling recaps roundups. So all my WWE recaps. So NXT UK uh, kicked off with the women's division, um, an all Scotland battle between Isla Dawn and Kaylee Ray, and um, it was a hard-fought matchup. Kaylee Ray, uh, um, Isla Dawn came close, but Kaylee Ray did pick up the victory. <clears throat> and Kaylee Ray keeps and got in the microphone and says all the women are fighting amongst each other. But I'm still on top. And then there was a promo about a newcomer to the NXT UK, Ben Carter. A lot of people have been saying how good this young man is and was very impressed. And found out that he was trained by Seth Rollins. So that's a big, huge plus. And William Regal was very interested into it. So Sid Scala was too. So And everybody else. So he signed on to NXT UK. So Ben Cotter is coming in to NXT UK very soon. Ilya Dragunov addressed the match that he had with Walter for the UK title about, what, three or four weeks ago? And he felt like in his heart that he needs to start over. So um, the contacts have been taken out. And uh, <clears throat> so it looks like Ilya Dragunov will be uh, starting over from square one. Much um, shout out to that. Saxon, Hux Saxon Huxley went so nuts to the point where Levi Muir and Jack Stars faced him in a handicap match. And Saxon Huxley was giving Muir and Jack Stars a hard time. But finally, Jack Stars picked up his uh, first victory as he made the pinfall on Saxon Huxley. Uh, Saxon Huxley was not very happy about it. He attacked both of them. Then Dave, Dave Mastiff came to the uh, aid of both men, uh, Muir and Stars, and that'll be a heck of a barn burner brawl. Saxon, there he goes! There goes Saxon Huxley! That guy's a nut. <clears throat> and so, uh, Piper Niven uh, went to Sid Scala's office and said, Do you see this? And then Piper Niven was doing some weightlifting and all that. Piper Niven, then Piper Niven ran off, and then somebody um, came with an NXT UK crate or something like that. Piper Niven wanted to know what the heck is going on. Piper Niven opened it up, had a steel chair, and had a note. It seems like Jenny has challenged uh, Piper Niven to a matchup, and so Niven wants Jenny. And in three weeks in the new year, there will be a number one contenders match for the NXT UK title. UK Women's Championship, I should say, uh, as Ginny and Piper Niven go one on one in three weeks. That means I think we're talking about the uh, the first NXT UK of the new year. <clears throat> so, 
So Rampage Brown came in and talked to Dave Mastiff, and he says, "Hey, well, you know, Mastiff, I'll fight anybody." So Rampage Brown, Rampage Brown nods his head, and the A kid, an A kid who's uh, who's been very, very impressive in the Heritage Cup tournament, has won. He beat Tyler Bay. He had, he was beat some of the best superstars ever, and he decided, well, there's nowhere to go but up, and I'm going to be challenging Walter. I want to challenge Walter for the NXT UK Championship. Walter comes out, he gets upset, saying, "How dare you call me out and run your mouth? I am the United Kingdom champion." And the lucky and Kenny Williams uh, was in the uh, training room, uh, talk, talking to one of the cameramen. It doesn't look good. Amir Jordan talks about, "Hey, what about we get focused on the tag team championships?" And all that, yeah. But, uh, <clears throat> I see the way. <clears throat> You've handled yourself in singles competition. I think you should find out. Well, well, we'll get you going. We'll, uh... So, they were talking about trying to get back in this acting towel situation. Trent Seven decided to address this situation. And he decided, well, is there some things he needs to work on? And he's going to deal with them. So, bear, he says, bear with him. So, that's what's going to happen. Another, a new, a newcomer, uh, Josh Morrill, uh, took on the other newcomer, Rampage Brown. Josh Morrill. I uh, gave Rampage Brown all that he, all he can handle, but then Rampage Brown, in the end, did defeat Josh Morrill. So Rampage Brown picks up another victory. Where can he go from here? We'll find out. Sis Gala made an announcement for about what happened between A Kid and Walter in the new year. The NXT UK title will be on the line. Walter will defend against the A Kid. That's a huge matchup. So A Kid did. Earned that shot. So after his impressive win in the Heritage Cup tournament, a victory over Tyler Bate. So um, and Sid Scal and Johnny Saint agreed. Let's get an NXT. If both parties agree, NXT UK title match. <clears throat> and uh, the Gallus versus the Hunt. The NXT UK tag team titles on the line. This was going to be a barn burn brawl. Now I want to say something about Eddie Dennis. Eddie Dennis reminds me. Of the late great WWE Hall of Famer, Mr. Fuji. He can wrestle. He's very intelligent. And he's very, very devious minded. And when I saw Eddie Dennis, he reminds me a lot of Mr. Fuji. Mr. Fuji was intelligent, devious, devious minded, and can wrestle. Like Eddie Dennis. And that's why I liken him to be. And always reminds me of Mr. Fuji, man. And I think with the hunt, you know, the hunt could be the news with the wild Samoans. So, you know. I mean, much of the Wild Samoans, the Head Shrinkers, the Bushwhackers all roll into one with the and unorthodox, very wild, very crazy. But it was a heck of a matchup, and uh, when Eddie Dennis uh, got involved, that would have been changed the match around. But then Joe Coffee, but then uh, Mark Coffey tried to get at him, and then he was attacked by Primate, and then Joe Coffey came out and attacked Eddie Dennis. And then while that was going on. Here comes Flash Morgan Webster and Mark Andrews pushing the hunt off the top turnbuckles, ready to finish off a Wolfgang. And then Gals uh, capitalized on that, made the pin. You, Gals is still your reigning NXT UK World Tag Team Champions. And as we're celebrating the ring, here comes Pretty Deadly. Lewis Holly and uh, Sam Stoker came up and said, Hi, boys. We want the next shot, the belts. And then and all of a sudden, all of Adrian... Um, Ashton Smith and Adrian, um, um, Ashton Smith and Oliver Carter attack pretty deadly, throws them in the ring, and then Gals busts them up. You're talking about this. You're talking about the NXT UK tag team division. Even without the Grizzled Young Veterans and the rest of the Imperium who are in the NXT US getting that division on off the ground as well, I think the NXT UK tag team division is still running good. I mean, you got Gallus, the champs. You got the Hunt, who, who gave up who uh, put up a good fight against? <clears throat> who put up a good fight against the uh, against the Gallus boys? Um, you got um, the Southwell subculture team of uh, Mark Andrews and Flash Morgan Webster. You got pretty deadly um, Oliver Carter and Ashton and Ashton Smith. You, you got the Lucky and Ken, uh, Kenny Williams and Amir Jordan. This is gonna be fun. And if Trent Seven and Tyler Bake can get themselves together. Uh, back as Mustache Mountain, they could they could challenge. So and they've been former NXT Tag Team Champs as well. So that could be um, a lot of options here. And gals, see how long they do it. And um, I'm very interested to see what would happen in the long run for NXT UK. We're going into next year. 
So that is all the time we have on episode 39 of The Bridge Up, the NXT UK recap for December the 17th, 2020. Tomorrow is SmackDown, the final SmackDown before TLC. We get 205 Live. And now we're making everything. It's going to be uh, something else. So I will see you guys later. You guys have a wonderful day. And um, hope you guys survived the snowstorm. If you're enjoying the snow out there, you know, enjoy it as much as you can. I know it's a little bit. It's probably it's gonna taper off pretty soon in the afternoon. All right. See you guys later. Have a good have a good day, guys.